Hello boys and girls! Today I'm going to show you how to make a woodland squirrel, like this one right here. You'll need a pencil, a black marker, an assortment of crayons, and a good eraser for creating these lines here. Our first step is to start with the shape of the head. I'm going to put it over to the side. You can see right here. It's kind of in this corner of the paper. And I'm going to draw a circle. I'll press a little bit harder with the pencil so that you can see it right around here. I will change over to Sharpie so that you can see it in a moment. Next, I'm going to draw where the eyes are going to go. So I'm going to put them right here and right here. And then we have to place the nose in the center of the face, but lower. Okay, I'll just add some lines from the nose over to the side of the head like this and like this. Let me repeat that with my marker. Okay, so first I will draw the shape of the head. a little space because I think I had some little flowers in this one. I'll add some acorns or something in the next one. And then I'll do the shape of the nose and of course the eyes. Do not start with the Sharpie until you know you're happy with your drawing because if you mess it up then you're gonna have to start all over again. Now, if you want to put a cute little mouth, we can do that. Now, our squirrel needs some ears. So, starting on the side where I stopped drawing here, I'm going to draw an ear, triangle shape on this side, and a triangle shape on this side. I'm also going to have my squirrel holding an acorn. So here I'm going to draw another circular shape. These are going to turn into the arms and then another shape down lower, which will turn into the legs. <gasps> squirrel snowman. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this into an arm by in the center Draw a curved line, a curved line on this side. And then I'm going to draw the arms going up like this. Oh, I wanted an acorn in the middle. I think I need a little more room. So I'm just going to erase, draw my acorn. An acorn shape is like this. I have a little stem. And then you're going to separate it in the middle. So there's your acorn shape. Okay, and then we'll have our squirrel holding the acorn a little bit. There we go. Hopefully you can see that with the pencil. So let me repeat some of those shapes. We're going to have the arm on this side and an arm on this side. Notice that the arms on either side for this view are symmetrical. Then I'm going to go in the middle and draw over here, inside of the arm, and the inside of this arm. Squirrels actually have little fingers that can hold the acorn, but we can leave those off for this stylized picture. And there's the acorn. So cute. Okay, next we have the legs. Now I was going to put some acorns and some details down here. Also, don't want to forget about our tail on this side. So let me start that always with pencil first. We're on this side going to draw a spirally tail like this. So it goes around. That will turn into our tail. And then on this side, we'll have this kind of S shape almost. 
See how the tail is curling up, just like a spiral. Now, if you wanted some feet, you could absolutely draw some feet down at the bottom by just kind of drawing his little stubby feet peeking out from underneath. Here, and you could draw one here. Okay, and we have the shape of his fur. I'm going to make the inside of his belly lighter right there. Okay. If you want to add some acorns or flowers, I like to add that to kind of decorate a little bit. So what you do is you decide exactly what you want to put and then you start to add like acorn, maybe some oak leaves, Put another acorn over here, peeking out. And you just keep going until you're happy with your design and you can add different colors. You can also put some in your um, little squirrel's hair. Kind of adds a little bit of color and some way to add in some fall colors or spring colors or whatever you're drawing. Again, when you're happy with your drawing, you're going to go over it with a Sharpie. So we'll go over this with the black marker so that you can see. I had the ears. You can add a little bit of pink to the ears if you'd like. And the leaves. I'm going off my pencil lines. We'll have to erase that. Maybe some berries. Okay. And then down here we have the acorn. We'll add some berries. leaves and the more you can kind of add to this the more color and the more interesting your drawing will be You could add the feet if you want, if you can fit them in. And after everything's outlined, it is time to add color. I used crayons for my squirrel. And I used pencil trees in the background to add a little bit of contrast. Because it's an animal, you could add some texture with your crayons and add a fur kind of texture, and I'll show you how we do that after I erase. Notice when I do erase, I'm holding down my paper, because if I don't, what just happened there can happen. It can bend. I've had students that have torn their paper by accident because they were erasing and they were rough. And you really have to hold it down with one hand and use your eraser with the other. But you do want to get as much of the pencil off as you can because crayons are transparent. So they will show up when you're coloring, especially with lighter colors 
yellows and oranges. Or shavings off my paper. Okay. And now it's time to color. When I color, I usually use the lighter colors first and then make my way to darker colors. So I think I'll select a bunch of browns. We'll kind of make our squirrel a red squirrel and black. And we'll add some white when we're blending. Oh, that's gray. I'll add a little gray. As many browns as I can find. Okay. Now when you're coloring, you want to, like I said, because it's an animal, you can kind of add that fur texture. It doesn't have to be totally smooth. You can leave a little bit of white showing. You can also make your squirrel a completely unusual color. Maybe you want a green squirrel or a blue squirrel. Maybe there's no right or wrong way to color. But you do want to try to sometimes experiment and use crayons in new and interesting ways. Crayons, you cannot really blend with crayons because they are made of wax, but what you can do is you can layer if you're using the texture, maybe I want to make it look a little bit three-dimensional by adding just a little bit of black around the edges, and that makes my squirrel look like it's three-dimensional or look like it's going back in space a little bit. Okay. You can also just color solid. If you want something to just kind of be one color, like maybe I want my nose to not have a fur-like texture. So I'll just color that with a little bit of black and get a little bit of color in with it. See how I'm layering the colors to build up that color? Okay, I'm going to color this and I'll be right back. Red squirrel is complete. There we have more of a grayish, brownish squirrel. And I made my squirrel a red squirrel. What you can do if you want to add the trees in the background, it's very simple. You just use a regular graphite pencil and you draw some tree trunks in the background. You can draw branches growing up and diagonal off of the tree trunk. Don't forget to carry it to the bottom of your squirrel, just like that, and hop over it. This would be the ground, so we'll make, we'll just make that really dark. And add more, and after you do that, you're going to shade these in using your pencil. Just being careful not to get any on the crayon because you can't really erase crayon. And after you have done that, you have a nice solid penciled in tree. You're going to use an eraser. I like using like a brand new eraser that has a nice uh, blunt tip, but you can also use these pink erasers. They work great as well. And you're going to erase some of these lines. Create kind of a birch texture. 
Although birch would be all white. It just gives it a little bit more interest in your background. Um, and you can do that till you fill up your entire background. squirrel is complete. My final step is to add my name. The artist signature is the most important part. I always put it in the front of my work so that people can see who created this masterpiece. Have a wonderful day. I cannot wait to see what you create.